hello everyone welcome to visit malta channel before watching this video uh, if you didn't watch the part one of uh, malta driving license uh, video please watch the, that video first then only you will understand this video clearly okay so the part one video about malta driving license you can find the link in the channel or you can find the link in the description of this video okay so first watch that video then watch this video then only you will understand what i am talking about and how you can handle it uh, by applying driving license malta and how it, how much it costs and how to apply so all those things i have explained in very detail in the part one video so please watch that first then uh, then come to uh, this video then only you will understand very clearly okay let's go to this video part two okay here as you can see transport.gov.md is the website okay so once you land here in the website you can directly uh, check on many information here for the respective vehicles and uh, uh, complete information okay so my recommendation is to if you're going for a new license just go to and click on the driving license you can uh, click on this arrow and expand it let me zoom a little bit so that it will be uh, clear okay so once you click on the driving license here you will see the license category as i mentioned in the video it's a motorcycle and cars and uh, trucks and vans and passenger vans and coaches so you can apply through online uh, you can apply for your driving license through online so i'm going to discuss also this uh, url by showing the information okay so you can check change uh, to my driving license so you can check what is the procedure and how much it will cost to change the driving license okay and uh, guidance for driving test you can here you can see uh, I, i'm not going to go through in very detail since the video is taking too long okay so you can check what are the procedure as mentioned you have to pass the theory test and uh, then the motorcycle test for every information you can find here okay Here it says candidate will not be allowed to sit for the exam if they dis, uh, display symptoms. Okay, this is for COVID uh, measures. Okay, you can check and driving abroad. Here you can uh, you can see uh, an international driving driving permit is needed for a driving within the countries that are not member state within the European Union or that are not party into the governance current road traffic. So you can read. I'm not going to waste many time. Okay. And what are the costs for the application and the requirement? And uh, mo mostly, mostly other EU members are allowed to drive here in Malta without any issues. Okay, except non-EU members, there is a procedure that you have to follow. Uh, like you are, you can, you are allowed to uh, drive only uh, uh, 12 months, uh, but you have to be here in 185 days, and uh, you have to exchange your driving license, or you can apply for a new driving license. Let me see exchange your uh, foreign driving license exchange your foreign driving license any person holding license issued outside malta and the european union shall be entitled to driving here uh, in malta for a period not exceeding 12 months uh, date of his last entry in malta okay and also uh, any holder of a driving license issued in the following countries who takes up normal residence in malta shall be entitled to have his driving license exchanged for an equivalent Maltese license, for example, another member state of European Union or a member state of European Union economic area, uh, namely Norway, Ireland, and uh, sorry, Iceland and uh, Liechtenstein or Switzerland or Austria or United Arab, see, United Arab Emirates or the UK. So these uh, these um, the people from this country are allowed to drive here in Malta for 12 months, okay, and exchange uh, their driving license here in Malta, okay and uh, you can you can see what are the form that you have to download when you wanted to exchange your driving license after 12 months because uh, you are allowed to drive here in 12 months and uh, but the minimum 180 days you have to be uh, be here in malta okay so just go through it all this information here in this page uh, it's very useful and uh, there are other procedure like if you're lost or driving license and uh, you you can fill the form or directly go to uh, transport malta you can you can visit the contact us page on the transport malta this website and you can directly go to the uh, services and do the needful and uh, this is between uk and malta take a look at it and after your driving license let me click on it here as mentioned earlier driving theory test is 30 euro and driving uh, 
<coughs> theory test resetting is 22.5 and learner's permit and driving practical tests and change of motor school is free. So if you're not comfortable with your motor school and they are not uh, training you well or you're not comfortable with the person, you are allowed to change your motor school by requesting directly to the transport Malta and uh, or you can directly choose another motor school and you can tell them that you wanted to change your motor school which they will take care of the procedure at the free of cost hopefully but some motor school will uh, charge you for the change of motor school okay and uh, what else is important yes penalty point so as you can see here the penalty point uh, very detailed okay and if you click on here in the respective driving license with penalty point you will see what are all the mistakes and how many points okay and here it says the important information okay new driver who passed the driving test shall granted a probationary a driving license valid three years calendar year subject to the penalty point system as mentioned you will be uh, holding uh, initially three years uh, three years license only so so within the three years uh, li license your if your penalty point exceeding uh, uh, number uh, 12 point then your license will be uh, uh, revoked and you have to do uh, redo the uh, test and everything so if it is less than 12 uh, points you are allowed to take 10 years uh, license okay and renew your license you uh, also is a procedure about 8 to 12 weeks prior to expire the date you can renew when you can check the the procedures and everything here and uh, withdrawal of license if you wanted to withdraw the license you can uh, follow this procedure okay now let me take you to the uh, the portal where you can apply the driving license okay this is the portal uh, i'm going to share this url in the video description you can uh, take a look at it okay if you are already holding a driving license and wanted to check the penalty point you can click this uh, uh, i have a driving license tab here you can see check your penalty points and check your driving license detail and renew your driving license for example i'm just clicking on the uh, check your penalty points okay and click on check now okay here you have to use your id card number and the document number which will be showing in reverse of the id card okay as you can see in this images let me zoom it okay here the red box which will show you the document number okay so you can use the id card number the document number and click on it acknowledge and uh, just find this uh, capture verification and click on the sign in with your ead account okay so it will take you to the it will take you to the actual uh, uh, information where you can see about your driving uh, license penalty points and driving information okay so if you are struggling with your id card number and document number uh, you can also click on sign in with your ead account by clicking on here it will take you to the ead login so once you logged into the EAD account, it will come back to this uh, Transport uh, Malta website where you can see all those information. You see, so this is the EAD information and login. Uh, if you don't know what is EAD and uh, you can check uh, my other video, which I have already created about EAD and you can check how to apply the EAD and how you can use it. Okay. And uh, next one is I'm applying for a driving license. You can click on here. Okay. And click on login again apply for a new driving permit apply for a driving test to manage your application so you can check you can click whatever the the related uh, information you can click on it learners permit again you have to use uh, the enter id card name surname email address and disclaimer then you can swipe and log in or you can use the ead account my recommendation is to use the ead account so that way you can always access the portal uh, always access the portal uh, clearly without any issues okay and again if you want to apply for a driving test you can click on the schedule and you can manage your application if you already applied anything okay and uh, what else are ah, here you can see uh, motor schools so this is the motor school login which they will uh, the registered with the transport malta and they will log in and they will use information and book uh, behalf of you for the practical test and everything and learners permit okay and medical doctors uh, some category you, you may record medical certificates for the heavy vehicle i believe so you uh, your motor school will take care of this uh, medical doctor information all right and what else is yes this is the portal for the theory test okay 
this is the practical uh, example uh, website where you can uh, check the questions and uh, how it will be okay for example theory uh, theory q and a test okay just select the category that you wanted to uh, take a test for example if i'm going for a car uh, license just click on it okay it will take you to the uh, the sample question where you have to select it and click uh, uh, test or next button okay in the end result you will see the result or you can immediately check the result is correct or uh, wrong okay this is one by one uh, questions and you can immediately check the answers if you go on uh, the theory a q and a okay but if you wanted to really uh, do a uh, theory test uh, like a real uh, real test just go to the theory exam again this is not the actual theory test portal okay let me explain what is the actual theory test uh, uh, that you have to take it this is actually a mock up it's a sample website which will give you uh, allow you to practice the theory test okay as i mentioned in the theory exam if you click on this tab you will have a 35 questions and five questions is the maximum uh, you can make a mistake okay you can adjust this uh, based on your convenience if i want 55 questions and five questions you can do it so default is 35 click on the categories and you can see one of three just select and next and select okay so once you finish all 35 question and end of the result you will see uh, how much you uh, pass and how much it is failed okay so you can uh, use this portal effectively before you go for a theory test okay so it will uh, avoid uh, it will avoid to uh, uh, fail the test you know so you can have a good practice using this portal okay and if you don't want to uh, go for a test uh, like one by one question and you just wanted to review all the question in one shot all you can do is go to the learn theory okay click on the respective uh, <coughs> respective category for example i'm clicking on the car b category and it will take you the pdf file which all the questions uh, all the question listed here okay with the correct answer okay so you can just uh, take a look at this and uh, uh, memory this question and you can take a driving theory test this is also another way that you can check and 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 hundred percent hundred percent when you go for a theory test the questions will be coming from here only in this in this uh, list of questions only so you if you study these questions and understand the rules and regulations of traffic signs uh, in malta then you will be passed for sure okay now once you uh, once you once you uh, once you uh, prepared and ready for a theory test all you have to do is click on the register for exam okay and uh, click on this here maltatheorytest.com it will take you to the website okay here you can click book appointment now okay so it will it will ask you to the calendar which uh, the category and also also uh, which location you wanted to sit and write your exam okay for example this is the location okay uh, there are there are few locations uh, in malta where you can go directly and uh, do the theory test and theory test it is not allowed uh, to uh, do the online theory test uh, by your own uh, place like your home or any other places so you have to book the appointment you have to go to the respective theory center that has been allotted by uh, transport malta and you have to uh, complete your theory test okay so you have to go to the respective place for example i'm just booking on it okay I'm booking on it and uh, for the 23rd I'm just selecting the desk okay and selecting the time okay and uh, you can use the uh, time if I book to log in or guest to booking okay and you have to give the information first name last name and email address and mobile number once you give all this information you have to pay the the theory test fees and uh, the booking confirmation will be given to you uh, based on the respective uh, with the respective address where you can take the theory test place okay so you have to make sure go by uh, 15 minutes before to the respective theory center and you'll have to show this booking appointment confirmation to the the person and they will uh, they will they will uh, give you the the desktop system 
where you can uh, see the stimulation exactly like the steri uh, test stimulation so you can attend the test and they'll give you the theory test result immediately so it will not take time they'll take they, they'll give you the uh, test result even though if you pass or fail they'll give you a printout sheet uh, about the theory test result immediately which you can hold it okay and when you ready uh, when you ready uh, practicing uh, with the, the driving school and you are ready to take a practical test you have to take this original theory test result to copy with you okay also booking uh, appointment for the practical test that is being booked by you or your uh, driving school inspector and visit directly uh, the place uh, located in uh, floriana not the floriana in the valletta place okay which your driving school inspector will let you know okay you have to wait for uh, the driving inspector come from the transport malta there and you have to show all your document like id cards and the driving uh, theory uh, test result and the booking appointment of uh, the practical test and all together then they will ask you a question simple questions uh, as i mentioned uh, the questions you can you can expect the questions from the list of questions here in the in the sample portal okay so you can answer and they'll make a note even if the answer is wrong they will not tell you the answer is wrong they'll simply make a note okay in the in the trip sheet something like uh, the report sheet uh, which they are holding uh, by transport malta inspector okay and they'll be uh, sitting with you in the car okay no one is allowed uh, even your driving trainer is not allowed so no one is allowed only the transport malta inspector and you sit in the car and they'll ask you to start okay so the starting itself they'll watch you how your uh, how we are checking around the cars before you start seat belt and uh, so you have to uh, make yourself comfortable by adjusting seat and steering and everything mirrors and everything before you start so once you're ready ask the driving inspector if you can start they'll say yes then you can start on the vehicle and uh, finish your test if you pass they'll tell you your pass and if there is any remarks and they'll tell you also with the remarks so please make sure uh, to avoid this kind of mistakes and all okay and there is a limit and uh, i think uh, for less than 5 mistakes you are allowed to pass the test and if it is more than 5 mistake and serious mistake they'll definitely fail you and they'll also inform you these are all the mistakes that you have made you need more practice and all okay so uh, that is all uh, about uh, transport malta and how you can uh, take the driving license hope this long video is very useful for you to uh, apply for a driving license and uh, how much it costs and how to select the driving school if you like this video please subscribe my channel share this video to many people who is really looking for and uh, especially when foreigners come to uh, malta they are they are in a confusion whether they can drive uh, with their existing license so you they can check uh, this portal and see if they can drive because as i can see only the e uh, other eu members and uae and uk are members are allowed to drive here in malta uh when when they reach other than all other country required a driving license to drive here in malta it seems okay so you can also contact uh, the transport malta chat support and you can also directly visit them by uh, checking the location and under the contact and you can also check all other information like vehicles and public transport and road traffic and management and professional transport services and animals on the road so rules and regulation everything you can uh, take it completely uh here and uh, if you click on the contact you will see where the transport malta uh, location is paula and uh, halia and gozu and floriana this is this will be the location that you will be uh, going for a practical test okay so exactly this location so they'll take you to the driving route almost almost uh, the the surrounded area like uh, uh, surrounding the valletta area and uh, and uh, birgu and i think uh, uh, pola not pola so are uh, so surrounding this area only they'll take you for 30 minutes right okay and your driving school inspector will driving school trainer will uh, let you know what are the 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 roads that they'll that they'll take you for a practical test okay but but they will they will uh, the driving uh, the driving uh, inspector from transport malta they'll take a different route also okay so they'll not uh, give you the exact route that is been given uh, trained okay that is been trained already so they'll suddenly take you to the different route by saying that uh, saying that the place of the route so you have to watch the road sign which 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 places take you to the which road so you have to understand that and you have to make sure to follow that uh, route okay 
so that is more challenging in the driving school uh, driving practical test also all right if you have any clarification you can always send an email to the transport malta you can directly visit to the the area that i have mentioned but the headquarters is actually uh, located in uh, i think uh, paula okay so you can uh, visit there and you can check what is required okay hope this video is very useful thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe my channel to follow more video about malta working permit and work visa and vfs global services and know about malta and places to visit in malta okay thanks again and good luck